Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Eddie V. And today we're talking about the top three worst trucking companies to work for. And this is not just 2020 list. This has like been for quite a while. So stay tuned. Hey guys, thank you for visiting my channel. Before I continue in this video, uh, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down over here no actually it's right here sorry click the subscribe button down here and also my instagram is right here follow these two pages and also if you feel free to keep this help to keep this channel running my cash app is right here just do a donation okay guys so there's a whole bunch a ton of huge carriers that there's just not good to work for and so and one of them has closed down called celadon but number three is we have CFI. And this is my personal experience because when I got my CDL, I applied to CFI. I said up to 65 cents a mile pay. And when I hit the phone, got a pr my application got received. They reviewed it and they call called me and I called them. Whatever happened, I already forgot. It's been a year. And they were like... Uh, you're hired. I'm like, okay, cool. When did I start? And they're like, uh, yeah, you can either do team driving. I'm like, team driving? I don't think I want to do team driving. And they were like, or you could do solo. And I'm solo. How much is solo? They're like 27 cents a mile. I'm like, 27 cents a mile? And I'm, and they kept calling me and bugging me. I'm like, no, I don't want to work for you for 27 cents a mile. Why do you keep calling me? Like, I already declined the offer. They're like, well, sir, you're going to be going, you're going to be promoted every week. That's a lie. Okay. CFI, one of the worst paying companies, worst companies to work for, one of the worst. 27 cents a mile. You could go to work at Walmart as a, as a grocery stock and get paid more than 20, uh, than a truck driver that gets paid 27 cents a mile. Come on, $500 a week for 27 cents a mile? What is this? You know, th this is not trucking. Truck Truckers need to get minimum of a 45 cents a mile, like wage limit. That's the problem with trucking. It has no wage limit or starting pay. So 27 cents a mile, I don't kind of agree with it. Because first, you got what is called, uh, they're going to see your fuel performance and safety performance. And the safety bonus is going to add you up to those mileage. And you got to haul a certain, do a certain mileage. And you got to do a certain amount of loads as well. So basically, your weekly promotion is doomed. Because it's going to get stuck at 27 cents a mile for quite a long time. So their commercials on Instagram and what else and job sites is just fake. 27 cents a mile. It's not going to get you anywhere. So that's number three. Stay away from CFI as a new driver. Go somewhere else. Go to like a privately owned company where it's not so big. And they often, sometimes, some of them may hire you, you know. Uh, 27 cents a mile is just a no-go. Yeah, my minimum uh, for a new driver should be around 42 cents a mile. That's that's just ridiculous. 27 cents a mile. And guys, at number two, we have Swift. It's not number one. And I there's a worse company than Swift. Swift is just bad because of the drivers that keep wrecking the trucks and doing dumb stuff. You always see Swift videos. I have never seen like Western Express, Warner. I mean, just a few. But like Swift is the worst in terms of trucking. I don't really know about their pay, but they will literally hire anyone to drive for them. And their transmission is automatic too, which means you're a steering wheel holder. By the way, all these companies that I just mentioned in the top three, in my top three, all have automatic trucks, which means if you're driving for them, you're not a truck driver. You're a steering wheel holder because you don't know how to drive a manual. And a lot of these companies that hire truck drivers, the truck drivers went to CDL school for an automatic, so they have a restriction on their license to drive a manual. So you're technically not a truck driver if you have a restriction not to drive a manual. So... Uh, that's how it is. Swift is number two. Worst safety record. And not sure if this is a true rumor or not. If this is true, what it is. But after you get hired onto Swift, and this is a new driver. And imagine this. After two years, you get promoted to trainer. I'm like, trainer? What? You, you need at least like good 10 solid years of trucking to become a trainer. Like, yeah, that's why their safety record is horrible. Because... 
you know, trucking and being a trainer after just two years of driving. That's a no-go. So, yeah, stay away from Swift. Probably bad pay. Also, very bad training. Imagine you as a guy who had been driving trucks for about 15 years decided, oh, I'm just going to be in the retirement stage. He's going to go see what Swift is up to. And goes to Swift, and he's getting he's getting a t uh, He's, get, he's doing his test run to see what uh, to show the trainer what he's got if he's qual qualified to drive a truck. And that's a two-year – a guy driving trucks for only two years. What? That doesn't make any sense. So, yeah, stay away from Swift. Now, number one. And, guys, at number one, we have War Western Express. Why is it worse than Swift? Because they drive – they take people – out of prison with felonies and everything to drive for them and they're they will hire you with any record i even applied and got hired and then i just turned down you know they're like yeah you got hired you got the job and also what's bad their step deck or flatbed division pays less than their drive in a, a, a division i'm like what so you're gonna do more work on a flatbed but in terms of reefer, you do less work, you get paid more. That just doesn't make any sense to me. It's like, I think they were offering 47 cents a mile to start with at, as driving, but then 42 cents a mile to do flatbed. That's with experience. I don't know about without experience. And also, I looked at some, at that time, I did apply for them. I was looking at YouTube reviews. They were like, this lady was like, I'm stuck because my truck is broken. But so far, I have made 300 and something dollars in two weeks. And I'm like, what? 300 something wait a minute that's not a truck driver's wage that's a mcdonald's wage wage okay 300 i'm probably exaggerating it wasn't 300 i think it was like 500 but still i'm making up a number it was something low yikes yeah so western express they hire people out of prison or jail and they also have the weirdest pay structures and also they have the dumbest pay structures not only do they have um where where if you're a regional that you have to hold five loads to get the bonus instead of getting paid mileage is that they often on purpose give you only three loads a week so you don't get that bonus they do it on purpose because they don't lose any money and also what is weird is that the guys who get paid per mile uh the guy typed in his gps how much the load was road miles and he looked at his Low sheet. It said this many miles from the dispatcher, and he's like, "Wait a minute. Why is it longer in GPS than the than what the, what the dispatcher told me?" So they're paying you guys air miles. They're not paying you per mile on the road. So stay away from Western Express. Got to stay away from those companies. Make sure they pay you per mile, not per air mile, because it's shorter. Because roads they go off course. They don't go in a straight line. So you really driving what the road of course so this guy i think he's like i had a 500 mile load trip and then all of a sudden it became 700 so he getting paid for 500 miles at 700 so yeah western express stay away from and also thank you for watching this video and i hope you enjoyed this list because it's time to say goodbye and i'll see you next